Welcome to this How Do I video on importing data from external sources into Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 using Rapid Start implementation. My name is Koen Stocks. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and co-owner of Platan, a training center in Belgium. At the end of this video, you will have an overview of how to use the new Rapid Start features introduced in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 that you can use when importing data from external sources. The objectives of this video are introducing and demonstrating the following data migration features, map old values with new values when importing data from Excel, create missing codes when importing data from Excel, and also transform data imported from Excel. In this first scenario, I will show you how to use field mapping when importing data from Excel. I will do this by using field mapping to link old values to new values. Then I will import data from Excel using old values. I will check the imported package data in NAV and then I will apply the data and check master data that will be using the new values. In this first step, I will show you how to link old values to new values using the field mapping feature. It happens often that values provided by the customer for a particular field don't match with the values set up in NAV. For example, the user provided country codes BEL and USA, while in NAV we use BE and US. If we know this upfront, we can first map old values to new values before importing data from Excel. In NAV, I can go to the configuration package in Rapid Start Services. And if I would like to map values from the customer table, I will select the customer table. I will go to the table, fields, and there I can select the fields for which I would like to do a mapping. So for example, I would like to map the currency code field. In the ribbon I will click on mapping and there I can map old values with new values. For example, I would like to map euro with EUR and I would like to map dollar with USD. I would like to map also the country region code field. So I will select country region code, I will go to mapping and again I can map BEL to for example BE and USA to for example US. So in that way you can map any field that you would like to import for the customer table in this case. Instead of mapping the codes on customer table level, you can also map codes on the source tables itself. So I could go to the country region table and there map the codes of country regions. So both options will work. In the second step, I will import the Excel file using the old values for mapped fields. So again, in Excel you can see that we are using currency code Euro and Dollar and country region code BEL and USA. So these are the old values that now will be mapped to new values in NAV. In NAV I will go to my configuration package, I will select my customer table and I will import the file from Excel. Here I will select my customer migration file and I will import. As you can see now, two customer records have been imported. Let's now check the package data imported in NAV. So in my configuration package, I can click now on the number of package records for the customer table. So here you can see the customer data imported in the package table. So these are not actually customers yet. But here in the package data, I can already check all the data that is imported. And as you can see, the system has imported currency code Euro and Dollar and country BEL and USA. In the next step, we will go and apply data and there you will see that the system then will map the old values to the new values. Finally, we can now go and apply the data and have the system create the new customer records. So here in my overview of configuration package records, I can now select my customers and I can click on apply data. I can now go to the customers and let's check the currency code and the country and region code for these customers. So here in my customer overview, you can see the two customers imported from Excel. 
If I double click on the first one to open the customer card, you can now see that the system has used country code region BE instead of BEL and currency code EUR instead of Euro. Similar for the second customer, you can see now that country region code US is used instead of USA and currency code USD instead of dollar. So this is the result of mapping old values to new values before you import data from Excel in NAV. In the second scenario, I will use the function to create missing codes when importing data from Excel. I will do this by first of all select fields for which to create missing codes. Then I will import from Excel with codes not already existing in NAV. I will check the package data and apply data in NAV. And finally, I will add additional information to the newly created codes. In the first step, I will select the fields for which to create missing codes. This is the Excel file with customer information I would like to import in NAV. As you can see, the payment terms used in the Excel are 6 days and 60 days. Let's first check out the payment terms in NAV. In NAV, I will go to the search function and enter payment terms and I will open the payment term list. As you can see, 6 days and 60 days don't exist as payment terms in NAV. I will now go to the configuration package card. Because I'm importing customer data, I will select the customer table. Next, I will go to fields. And then you can select for which fields the system should create missing codes when importing data. And in my case, this is for the payment terms. So I will go to the payment terms code line and there I will select create missing codes. In the second step, I will import the Excel file with codes missing in NAV. In my configuration package card, I will select customer, I will go to Excel, import from Excel and I will import my customer migration table. Now that the data is imported in NAV, let's check the package and apply the package data in NAV. So there you go, you can see now that two records have been imported and these records use, of course, the new payment terms code 6 days and 60 days. Let's now select the records and apply the data. Finally, we can add additional information to the newly created codes. So in my previous step, I didn't get any validation errors, which means that the new payment term codes, so the missing codes, have been created automatically by NAV. So if I go to one of the imported customers, for example, Kronos Bicycles, and if I go to the customer card, you can see indeed that the payment terms is created. So six days is now created as a new payment terms. However, if you go to the payment terms details, you will see that together with the other newly created payment terms 60 days, additional information is still missing. And so basically the system of course only creates the code. So now I can go to advanced and I can start editing the list. Which means that in this case I would like to use a due date calculation formula of 6 days and a description of net 6 days. And for the next one, a due date of 16 days, 60 days, and net 60 days. So in this uh, way, I have set up two new payment terms. So the system automatically created the new payment term codes when importing data from Excel. And by adding additional information, we can now start using these two new payment terms in NAV. In the third scenario of this How Do I video, I will run data transformation rules on data imported from Excel. I will do this by first reviewing the code of report 8621. Then I will review the data in Excel with only lowercase descriptions. I will import data from Excel in NEV and check the package data. And then I will process the data and review descriptions with title case. Microsoft Dynamics NAV provides a library of data transformation methods which you can use to create standard data processing rules and run those on the data they import. 
You can, for example, capitalize all letters, replace part of the string to another string, change date format, trim values, and so on. To do so, we will use report 8621, and let's first have a look at the code of the report. So here in the development environment, I will go to design of the report, and I will go to the code. So in this report, Microsoft has provided uh, a library of some transformation methods where you can, for example, uh, do a transformation of payment terms of bank accounts, but you can also, for example, transform Mr. to the abbreviation Mr. And so basically a number of transformation methods uh, which are included in this report. However, you can always extend the report by developing your own transformation methods that you want to apply to the data that you import from Excel in NAV. Before we import, let's first review the data in Excel. I would like to use Excel to import a number of payment terms, but the data provided by my customer is using descriptions with only lowercase. Now, based on the uniformity we, we would like to use in NAV, we would like to have descriptions using title case, and so with the first letter of each word in uppercase. So by using data transformation, we can have the system change the lowercase descriptions to title case descriptions. Let's now import the data from Excel in NAV and then check the package data. In my configuration package, I will select the first line payment terms. I will click on Excel and select import from Excel. Next, I will select my payment terms Excel file and click on open. As you can see, four payment terms have been imported and let's, let's have a look at the package data. There you go, and you can still see that the description is using lowercase. And of course, NEV has imported the descriptions as they were provided in Excel. In the last step, we will now process the data and then review the descriptions using title case. So here in the configuration package records, we can still see that descriptions are using lowercase. Now I can select all the lines and I can click the Process Data button. So there you go, you can now see that the system automatically has changed the descriptions from lowercase to title case, which means that I can now apply data. And now if I will go and check the payment terms, you can see that we have uniformity in the descriptions of our payment terms because all descriptions now have title case. So also the values or the payment terms that we have imported from NAV initially using lowercase now are using title case. So that is one example of how you can use data transformation. But remember, you can also use it to capitalize all letters, replace part of the string, uh, change date format and so on. In this How Do I video, I have showed you how to use the new data migration features in Rapid Start Services for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. My name is Koen Stocks and I hope to see you on one of the other How Do I videos.